Hey, 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 happy day 601 of What She Have To Know. She, S-H-E, being Sharon Hornells from me, also known as Pajama Grandma. I like to document every day what I'm working on as I go from the brick and mortar world of business to the online world of business. And since I'm on day 601, we know that it's not an overnight success. Very few people are overnight successes and very few people will actually tell you what it took for them to become successful. We so often don't notice or see people until they've gotten a ton of success, a ton of influence, a ton of notoriety, a ton of attention. And we forget, and actually they forget, I forget all that I've been through, which is part of why as I was doing this online journey, I decided I was going to document every day because I know I like to journal and write things down and document, but we never document enough of our story so that people can really understand the ups and downs, the struggles, the trials, the tribulations, the things that work, the things that don't work, all the things we have to try until we finally get the one that clicks and works for us. And it's going to be different for each of us. We can model other people's behavior. We can learn from other people. But we still have to take the things that we learn and apply them and do them and make them our own and apply them to what it is that we want to create and do in the world. So let's talk today a little bit before we get into what I'm up to now about over delivering. Now, I get some a lot of grief about this. People are like, well, why would I over deliver? Why would I give people things that they don't pay for? Why would I do more than I say I'm going to do? Well, why? Because we want to create lifelong customers because it's the right thing to do. How do you feel when somebody says they're going to do something and they don't live up to their your expectations they don't do what they say they're going to do you never want to do business with them again right you don't want to be in relationships with them you definitely don't want to you know give them your money and you don't want to work with them well it's just the opposite how do you feel when people do more than you ever expected when they give you incredible customer service when they surprise or delight you with a little extra something that they never said they were going to give you you love doing business with them, right? You're excited and delighted and you remember that and you usually go around and tell everybody you know about it. At least I know I do. Uh, and it's easy to do. We, we act like it's so hard to do in our lives and in our businesses, but it's not. It's doing that little extra thing and it's not even going an extra mile. It's taking that extra step. It's being considerate and kind. It's checking in with people. And if we do this in our relationships, both our business and our personal relationships, not only are we happier, but so are the people that we interact with. So why would we not want to over deliver? Well, if we come from a scarcity and lack mentality where we should get paid for or an entitlement mentality where we think that we deserve more than other people or we're better than other people, then we probably don't want to over deliver. We probably just want to um, get paid for everything we do. And again, it's the difference between um, a servant's mindset and a making the world a better place mindset and a, a scarcity and lack and victim mindset um, and I guess these are pretty absolutes I'm using today maybe because my head is clogged because I have a cold but obviously definitely a topic that is of interest to me and definitely a student of this because back when I was younger I was egotistical and uneducated, uneducated, yes, uneducated, and I didn't understand the why would you want to over deliver? Hey, I put in the time, I should get paid for the time I put in. Definitely an employee mentality, which is awesome and okay. Yep, put forth the effort, but here's the deal. You are never going to get paid what you're worth by someone else. It, it doesn't work that way. It, it, when you have a business, you pay people what the job is worth, not what they're worth. As human beings, we are infinitely valuable. You cannot put a value on a human being and on a life, not anyone's life. Um, and trading our time for money, which is what we've been conditioned to do, people equate their value with what they make an hour for to make money. And it's, it's ridiculous because how much money we make an hour has nothing to do with our value and worth as a human being. <coughs> Again, another really big topic. But over-promising and or under-promising and over-delivering. See, I even still say it backwards after all these decades. Uh, I worked in companies where the sales department would promise the earth to a customer in order to get them to do business with us. And unfortunately, salespeople in that organization would 
would promise things that we were not technologically capable of doing and performing. And that meant that as a quality director, we had to try to figure out how to explain to people why it was physically impossible to do what something one of our employees, a salesperson, would say. And that's where I really came to understand the importance of under-promising and over-delivering. Being always able to do what you say you can do. Always being able to be trustworthy and truthful in your word. And unfortunately, I worked with some old school salespeople that weren't trained to, to be that honest and that ethical and do what they say they can do. And they would promise anything and be okay with doing sales write-offs and giving people money back. And that's not the way I operate. That's not the way the owners of this organization wanted to operate. And so it was a definite challenge and struggle from a, a corporate management standpoint to um, to deal with some of this and I really learned to to not appreciate people that said they could do things that they couldn't deliver on and I made it my own personal mission to say if I say I'm gonna do something I'm gonna figure out a way to do it even if I don't know how to do it right now I will figure out a way to get the result that I promised and much much more because I don't want people to ever think that it's okay to over promise and say that you can do things that you can't because it's not okay and guess what you can do it for a short period of time but you'll always be caught I mean yeah we might have gotten the sale initially but we always had to do hundreds of thousands of dollars of write-offs because we technologically weren't capable of producing the products that our sales department had sold to customers and when customers don't get what they want guess what you got to give them their money back right and it only takes one or two before your reputation is shot. So my personal belief and my, my practice then became under promise and over delivery. You will never go wrong by giving people more value than you're charging them for. It's not hard to give people more value. Give them more attention, give them better customer service. Delight them in ways that give them a good experience. And if they have a good experience with you, guess what? You never have to worry because you'll always have plenty of customers. So over promise, over promise, over deliver, over deliver, over deliver, under promise, over deliver. Uh, what am I working on? One follow away challenge today is week four, day three or mission three. And we're working on traffic. Yesterday was dream 100. I don't even know what today is. I can't remember. It's It's been a while <coughs> and I haven't looked ahead. I will do it after my amazing granddaughter goes to school today. Or I do it while she's at school today. Um, I'm working on a project for that, working on rolling out the Women's Summit. I want to add a couple new speakers to it and redo that because it was such good content. I want to make sure that that gets a chance to see the light of day because uh, I didn't do a good job promoting it. Okay, epic failure. I did not do a good job of promoting it last time. And so I want to uh, touch base with the women and see if we can um, repurpose some of that and add some new speakers to it because as amazing as it is, new things are changing all the time. I'd like to add a couple of uh, women that talk about maybe influence or groups or, or different, just a couple different aspects of um, customers and customer interaction. So what are you working on today? I am nursing a cold. Finally, my sister brought me some Mucinex, so we'll see if that helps clear my head up and uh, I can think more clearly and get more done. Uh, let me know if I can help you in any way. Share in the comments below. Otherwise, I will, of course, be with you tomorrow popping in and sharing what's working, what's not, if I can get my sentences straight and know that it's over-deliver, over-deliver, over-deliver. If you need ideas on how to over-deliver or how to deliver a better customer experience, ask in the comments below. I've got, you know, 40-some years of experience of figuring those things out and I would love to share what I know with you and if I don't know the answer to your question, I will hook you up with somebody that does. Have an amazing day. I will of course see you tomorrow.